All right, and first we're going out to the town of Kennebunk, Kennebunk, which is next to Kennebunkport, Maine. They are on pins and needles as residents wait for authorities to release a list. This list contains the names of up to 150 people who allegedly had sex with a fitness instructor who is allegedly running a prostitution ring out of her Zumba. It's incredible. Alexis Wright had pleaded not guilty to 106 counts of prostitution, violations of privacy, and tax evasion. Joining me to discuss, Sam Phillips, radio talk show host, and by Skype, attorney Kenneth P. Altschuler, and divorce lawyer and radio host in Kennebunk, Maine. Uh, Kenneth, uh, I understand that there may be some well-known local figures on this list as well. Can you tell us what you've heard? I can. The rumors are flying around Kennebunk, and they say there's some very prominent names on this list. Lawyers, doctors, firemen. We have a town manager. We have a well-known TV anchor man or woman. We're not quite sure which one. And we have a cattle rancher. <laughs> How is it you have access to this list? How did, You can't give your sources. Well, we've been talking about this for quite some time around here, and it's a, you know, this is a small community, and people talk. The police officers, you know, that are investigating it uh, have been letting information. So remember, this all started by a blogger who over a year ago said that Alexis Wright is not the innocent person she appears to be. So there's been a lot of Facebook, there's been a lot of Twitter, and remember, she also has videos that have been posted on Pay For View. So a lot of this information has been out for a year, just no names assigned to the, to the faces. Now, your little town has, I understand, about 3,000 people, 150 people on this list. This means everybody's going to really probably know somebody on this list, right? I mean, are people freaking out about this? Uh, yes, there have been people who have been trying to have the media not cover this. We've had people who have tried to plead guilty before being charged to not have the publicity for this. We've had people who have offered to pay to have this go away. So yes, everybody will know somebody who's involved in this. Well, now why shouldn't be people allowed to pay for their crime but not have it go public? I think that would be a reasonable thing, Sam. Don't you agree? Uh, from what I understand, prostitution is illegal. No, but let's say a guy steps up to the court and goes, you know what, Judge, I, I did this, but please, let's keep my name out of the papers. And, you know, I'm, I'm guilty, I plead guilty, but let's, let me stay out of this thing. Uh, uh, I, I feel that you're engaging in a risky behavior, so you're running the risk of getting caught. So, th so they should just come with whatever consequences come. Well, that's what happens when you and I and forgive me because when my, you go to my, a prostitute, my, that's wait, what happens. My, my perverts and my deviant fan base are going to be very upset at me saying this, but I don't. I, I feel that if you have committed a what's crime. a crime, a crime yeah. that you should atone and pay for it. And obviously, what everyone's freaking out that these names are going to be made public. Clearly, look at the people that are the names on this list. They're, they're newsmakers. They're big people they're in this town. Figures. Yes. And, so, and, and so people should know about it, is what you're saying. Well, I think that there's a whole host of wives that need to be told uh, what's going on by their husbands personally before it's made public. And then similarly, if there's some lawsuit or case happening, aren't these people going to be named in a suit? Isn't it going to be made public so, at some point? Well, can some matter, no matter what, is this going to be made public? Oh, yes. They have said that they'll release the names. The names probably will be released as early as Friday. They have already begun summon, sending summons out to, as they characterize them, the Johns or the John Doe's. And remember, there's videotape evidence on all these people. So they have the evidence. Now the question is, was Alexis Wright planning on uh, blackmailing these people? She was selling some of them on the pay-for-view videos. So, yes, there's, you know, the, the bottom line here is that this was very public. This was in the middle of Kennebunk. People knew about this. It was open and notorious. There were cars driving up, men getting out, spending 30 minutes in Zumba lessons, and leaving. So it was well known around the neighborhood what was going on. Ken, it took the police a year to investigate. It's incredible. Now, so, so I just want to make sure I really understand this. Did she actually have Zumba classes? Do, did women go and take Zumba classes while their husbands uh, had other extracurricular activities there? 
No, it wasn't offered at the same. She did have Zumba lessons. She's evidently a very good Zumba instructor. <laughs> However, the extracurricular activities were on other hours, but in the middle of the day. So she would have classes that were scheduled at particular times. Well, let me ask this. Hours, was she well liked? Was she, even in addition to being a good Zoom instructor, was she somebody who was liked by the community and supported? Uh, I think that there were some women who knew that their husbands were doing more than Zumba lessons. And I think that's what started some of the Facebook postings and some of the blogging. So I think that there were some jealous women who were exposing her as not the nice, innocent woman she appeared and, to be. And, and by the way, it's more than jealousy. I mean, these women should be mortified. Let's go to Marissa in Pennsylvania. Marissa, what do you got? Hi, Dr. Joe. I want to tell you, you have my biggest and deepest respect. I think you're wonderful. Thanks, Marissa. It's very kind. Here's what I don't understand. Who cares if they're congressmen or judges or the mayor? Who cares? These, there's regular men out there doing this, too. What about those women? We're just supposed to care about the congressmen? They cheat and have sex all over the place anyway. I mean, really, why are we making this such a big deal? There are other situations going on, other men. And, and, and this goes on all the time Marissa, in Congress. let me ask you this. Do you, do you, did you have a, a personal experience with this? Somebody? No, but what bothers me is the fact that, I mean, there's, Poor women out there that don't even, you know, suspect this, and then this is going to be made a big deal because they're congressmen or they're some political figure. What about these poor women whose husbands aren't anything, and they're out there running around doing I this? I couldn't agree with you more, and I'm sure I'm certainly those women's husbands are going to be on this list as well. Now, on the phone, I've got Dan Breton. He's a store, store owner in Kennebunk, and uh, as I understand, Dan, your child goes to the same school as Alexis Wright's son, Alexis this is this woman that's alleged to be running this prostitution ring from her Zumba camp. Uh, and, and she's a single mom. Uh, so, Dan, let me ask you, are, are the parents aware of what's going on? Is this sort of something that's being discussed or have been discussed before the rest of the country found out about it? Well, th hi, Dr. Joe. How are you? Dan. Um, well, I think it, it started off um, like a little snowball on top of a mountain, and now, as you know, as the articles started coming out in the papers, um, a lot of the hearsay that was going around, um, now now it's a big old snowball. Well, and, Dan, uh, let me ask you. Yeah. Let me ask the same thing I asked Ken. Was she a, was she a mom in in your kindergarten community that was well liked and well supported? Are people mortified that this is happening? I think people are taken aback. Um, I think her, her Zumba class was pretty popular, um, and I think, you know, a lot of women were taking it. This is like uh, a Saturday Night Live skit. It's like, yeah, so, I yeah. mean, I just think they were taking it back. Um, uh, but, you know, but, I, but I, wait, I mean, Dan, I've seen, Dan. Her, I've seen her around, uh, you know, I've seen her around, uh, you know, elementary school events. Right, and, and that's my you know, question. I'm, is she yeah. somebody that was a, a supported member of that little community with, you know, your kids or with her kids? And parents support one another. And, and, as, and yeah. is this now a shock that, that this woman, that they were you know, connected to in a community. It's a betrayal. Is betraying them, right. And maybe they're worrying about their husbands that they might have been uh, clients. Is that what's going around? Well, there's a lot of unknown. I, was, I would say that'd be the big word. We don't know. I mean, we hear these leaks about these prominent names on the list and all, all these husbands. I can tell you that Kenny Bunk's a little bit bigger than 3,000 for what you said. It's about 10,000. And, and Wells has about, you know, pretty close to 10,000. So it's a little bit bigger community. But, um, you know, there's just a lot of unknown, and um, I can tell you the people that come into my store, you know, they're, you know there's a lot of anticipation of, of, you know, what names may be on the list, but now they're beginning to feel, you know, somewhat, um, you know, somewhat sad for what, what's going to happen when the, well, when the list comes well, thank out. you, Dan. Yeah, thank you, Dan. It, it is sad, and it's a sad story, and I guess the list is going to come out on Friday, and we will keep on top of this. And. Uh...